one Giants player has just gotten off the phone with his father around 5 p.m. on Tuesday. At that moment, he thought Joe Judge was still going to be the Giants head coach in 2022. At 5.33 p.m., the Giants announced that Judge was fired. That player's father texted NJ Advance Media at 5.34 p.m., Holy ST. A year ago, Judge was one of the most popular sports figures in New York, fans all in after he nearly guided the Giants to the postseason. Co-owner John Mara was convinced that he'd finally found the right coach after the last two, Ben McAdoo and Pat Shermer, had failed and were fired after two seasons, so, Mara proved an off-season spending spree in free agency because he believed in Judge's vision, and that he'd guide the Giants back to the playoffs. The only way Judge wouldn't make it through another year was with a full-blown disaster in 2021. And that's what happened. Judge was fired after a 4-13 season that ended with six straight losses, all by double digits, and a series of events that led to Judge being relentlessly mocked by current and former NFL players, coaches and prominent analysts. He was 10-23 overall in two seasons. I said before the season started that I wanted to feel good about the direction we were headed when we played our last game of the season, Mara said in a statement. Unfortunately, I cannot make that statement, which is why we have made this decision. Now that Judge is gone, there are two coaches that prominent Giants players would like to see considered as his replacement, a person familiar with their thinking pulled in J Advance Media, ex-Dolphins coach Brian F.L. Flores was fired on Monday despite winning 19 games the last two years, and Bayanini, interviewed by the Giants in 2020, is one of the more highly regarded assistants in the NFL. Mara intends to let whoever is hired as general manager choose the next coach, 